Hi, this is Brian Culver Rubius. In this video, we're going to talk about the stream in Google Classroom. We're going to talk about what the stream is and how it appears for both teachers and students. I'll show you how to post announcements to your stream and control if and how students can interact with the stream. Finally, we'll add a little flair to your stream by using emojis in your announcements. So the stream is the first thing that students see when they visit your online class. As the teacher, you can post announcements. Optionally, you can allow students to add their own posts and comments. You can have assignments appear in the stream. In a moment, I'll show you how to control those settings. To get started, click Share Something with your class from your stream. From here, you can put any message you want, and we can even paste in some emojis. I'll show you where I found those later. From here, you can post it right now, or you can schedule it for later, or you can save it as a draft, and then click on Post. And now you have your announcement. You can create another announcement, in this case, I'm going to schedule this one for later. I'm going to remind everyone to bring their Chromebook to class on Friday. Then from the drop-down, select Schedule. The Schedule option allows you to pick a date and time in the future that you want your announcement to be sent to your students. So it'll be invisible to them until we hit that date and time. Click on Schedule to save your announcement. You'll find that the announcement is hidden under the Saved Announcements option. If you expand that, you can see any announcements that you have upcoming. If you need to cancel this, you can click the Delete icon. If you double click on it, you can change the announcement and or change the date and time that it's scheduled. Now I'm going to make another announcement, but this one I'm just going to do as a draft. So suppose you have a really long announcement or you get interrupted, you can type what you want, uh, partially upload some attachments, and then from the drop down box, click on Save Draft. Saving it as a draft will put it in the same place as your scheduled announcements so you're able to find them later. It stores it as a saved announcement. Here you can see it's marked as a draft. You can double click on the announcement to finish and then either post it or schedule it for the future. Next I want to show you the types of attachments you can add to an announcement. First you can click on Google Drive and upload any file that is part of your Google Drive. In this case I'm going to upload a slideshow presentation to attach to this announcement. Next I'm going to insert a link. This can be a link to any file on the internet. In this case I'm just going to copy over this website Next, I'm going to upload a file. This dialog that you have is actually the same dialog you have for inserting from your Google Drive, but instead of uploading from your Google Drive, you're going to upload from your computer. I have this file that I'm going to upload into the Browse folder, which will add it to my announcement. Finally, you have the YouTube option. So from here, you can search for YouTube by keyword, or if you have a specific file in mind, you can just paste in the address and then include it with your announcement. So here you can see I have multiple files, and then I'm just going to save this one as a draft again. It'll be saved under my saved announcements. Let's have a look at what the students see. On the student side, they have the option to add their own announcements to interact with students. So here's an example of a student posting an announcement. If you scroll down a little bit, we can see that students are also able to add comments to your announcements. So that gives them their own ability to interact with you and other students from your stream. At some point, a student is going to post something inappropriate. You can click on the triple dot menu next to the comment and mute the student. When you mute them, you have the option to also delete this post. After you mute the student, you'll see a red icon next to their name to indicate that they are muted. Later, you can hit the triple dot menu again to unmute a student and then click unmute to confirm. This will restore their ability to add announcements and to add comments. Depending on your situation, you may want to limit students' access. So if you have kids that are not really um, behaving very well, if they're posting inappropriate comments, you are able to control how they can access your stream. So I'll show you that by going over to the teacher side. So click on the gear icon to have a look at the settings. Scroll down till you get to general, and there you will find the options for stream. On your stream, you'll see that you have a few options. The first one is that students can post and comment on the stream. The second option is that students can only comment. That means they're only able to add comments to posts that you've created. Students are not able to post their own messages. They're only able to add comments to posts that you've created earlier. Another option is that only teachers can post or comment. In this case, students can only read from the stream. They're not able to post their own content or interact with other students. They're only able to see the post that you've created. So here in this example, students can see your post, but they can't add any of their own. The next setting you can control is classwork. 
you can control if and how classwork appears in your stream. You can control what level of detail is shown. Click on the settings, then scroll down to where it shows classwork on the stream. By default, it shows attachments and details, which will show all the information. You can also switch over to show condensed notifications. With condensed notifications, it shows the assignment when it was assigned and will allow them to click on it to view more details, but it doesn't take up as much space, so it's more condensed. The other option with classwork is you can completely omit it from the stream. So you could hide the notifications. A lot of teachers choose to do that because they feel that the classwork clutters up the stream and makes it a lot more difficult to communicate with your students, particularly when you're giving announcements or links to Google Class meetings and such. Classwork is not shown at all on the stream page, but instead students have to go to the classwork tab. So it's going to be up to you to decide how you want to organize your classroom. On the class settings, there is an option to view deleted items. Viewing deleted items allows you to see items that you have removed from the stream. It does not allow students to see anything that has been deleted. Deleted items will show up in the stream for 30 days. After that, it'll be removed to help keep things clutter free. Next, I'm going to show you the move to top feature. Throughout the school year, your stream is going to get cluttered. If you have something that you want near the top, you can't pin an announcement to the top, but you can move one to the top. So you find an announcement that's important, you can click the triple dot menu, then select move to top. That will bump this announcement to the very top of the stream. That way when students first come to your classroom, that's the first thing they'll see. In case you're wondering where I found the emojis, I went over to emojicopy.com. You can search for a keyword, in this case I'll look up winter. You can click on the icons you want, it'll add them to the text box at the bottom. Then you click the copy link, move over to classroom, and then you can paste the emojis into an announcement. Nice way to add flair and grab attention. This video is part of a larger Google Classroom guide. Check below for a link to more information and other videos. The playlist shown here is part of a playlist for Google Classroom videos. If you have a question, go ahead and put it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.